Today, I'm giving away this professionally designed YouTube end screen template for free. Let's take a look. Now, let's say you didn't like that song. All you have to do is open the project file, move these markers to the beat of the new song, and... How about colors? Like blue? You get the picture. Still not impressed? Feel free to click away from this video and keep searching YouTube for a better end screen template. Still here? Alright. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to customize this design completely to match your channel. Alright guys, so there should be a download link in the description of this video which will link you to a page where you can download a zip file that contains all of these guys. It's actually this zip file. I haven't uploaded it yet because I haven't posted this video, but um, when you uh, download it, it should be a zip file like this. All you have to do is open it and uh, drag the stuff out into your desktop or your folder. Uh, just make sure that you uh, extract all of these files from the zip folder. Um, you can just copy them into somewhere else, but um, yeah, once you have all the files out, there'll be a project file that you can open with Adobe After Effects. And if you don't have Adobe After Effects, there's actually a way that you guys will be able to um, get this outro, which I'll get into in just a second. Um, there'll be a song, which is the default song that I've, uh, I'm going to prepackage with this outro. Of course, you can change it out to any other song, and I'll show you guys how to do that as well in just a second. And um, these two fonts, which you are going to uh, want to install before opening the project. So if you're on Windows, all you have to do is double click them and open up in this window and you can install them. I'm not sure how it works on Mac, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. Probably just double click on it to open it. And um, there should be some way to install a font. So that should be all of the pre-requirements to the template. Um, in the README, there's just some information about um, redistribution and attribution. Um, I would, you know, appreciate it if you guys could link me in the description of the videos that you use this outro in. Just courteous, um, but I'm not going to come after you, but I would appreciate it. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open it up in Adobe After Effects. Uh, if you don't have Adobe After Effects, I will actually... Um, edit, render, and send the outro to you. Um, it is going to cost you a little bit of money. I, I think I'm going to put it up for like $5 at the start here, um, just because I'm spending time out of my day uh, making stuff for you guys. So um, I'll edit and do that. Um, I'm not going to start doing that right away. I want to see actually how well the outro does. So um, if this video gets let's say a thousand likes on it, then I'll put it up on my store and you guys can pay five bucks and I'll edit and render it for you. Uh, you don't have to mess around with any project files. All you do is just get a link to download your outro and that's about it. Just go ahead and click the card in the top right corner of your screen to be taken to my website where you can purchase it. And if you're not watching on a device that supports YouTube cards, there's a link down in the description as well. Um, but uh, if you want to do it yourself, here's how. Just uh, go ahead and double click the project file. If you have Adobe After Effects installed already, it'll just open up. If you don't have Adobe After Effects installed, then install it. So this is more or less what the project will look like once you open it up in Adobe After Effects. Um, I have Adobe After Effects CC 2014. If you have something um, like Adobe After Effects CC uh, or CC earlier edition, or if you have any previous version, um, I don't think you'll be able to. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to open it. Um, maybe some people down in the comments will be able to provide you a downgraded version. I'm not going to do that because it's just a hassle. But um, someone with CC 2014 can um, do save save as and it'll be previous version, CC 20, uh, 2012. Uh, I'm not going to go through the effort of doing that, but you can find someone to do that, or you can go to my website and I can edit it for you. Um, but here is the template, and uh, you can kind of scrub through and see how it's going to look like this, the default configuration. 
and I'm just going to go over some of the basics of how to edit it. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is go right here and double click on the name and that will bring up this kind of edit mode and you can type in your name. Apparently I can't type. There you go. And you press uh, uh, return on your number pad and that will save the changes. Or you could just go up here and click this and click somewhere outside and it'll save those changes. Um, I've also put a lot of work into making a dynamic subtext category. So if I put nothing in there and then click off, you'll see it's nothing and the whole entire area shifts down to be centered, which I think is really cool. Now you can't go back and edit it like this because there's nowhere to click into, but if you hit control Z, it'll undo that and I can go back into it by double clicking on the text. And then I can change it to something like, hey there, right? And the box behind it updates and the whole thing shifts up to center it. So spent a lot of time on that. Uh, I'm pretty excited by the way it turned out and hopefully you guys enjoy that. You can put in like little cool taglines like, like this video or something like that. And uh, it will encourage people to remember to like your video or you could say subscribe or comment or do whatever that. Um, these elements will be filled in after you upload on YouTube. So after you upload it to YouTube, you're going to want to go to like the edit info and settings and there should be an option up top for end screen. Um, and then you can plop in your, your channel icon and two videos or playlists of your choice. Really that simple. Now let's get into changing the colors real quick. Um, I'm going to do the music last because uh, most of you guys will just be fine with the traditional music. Um, so you're going to want to click on the color palette layer down here and then you can change any of the colors you want. So the background I recommend like a either a desaturated color or a, a darker color. Um, light, light colors work too. Um, you know, I guess it's just probably just not my style, but you can of course go for a lighter color. Um, like I said, I don't know if I personally like that, but I like the I like the tan look, especially, or like the dark brown kind of coffee coffee blend, um, which is really cool. And I'm just changing the background color right here. The accent color will change the top loading bar, which kind of den denotes how much time is left in the outro. Um, so you can change that to something like green or blue or purple or you get the idea and it'll also change like this kind of hazy glow at the top and the little uh, little like um, bits around the edge, which is kind of cool. Also a few other things like the bursts, uh, the bursts. So if I go to the one right behind where I have the name, the name burst coming out, and I let it load here, the uh, the name like all the different burst effects, like the subscribe burst too, those will be updated to the accent color. So as you can see right there, when I go to the subscribe burst, it uh, it has the purple color as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this at kind of like an orange because I feel like it matches the brown pretty well. And uh, that leaves us to the accent two color which is basically just the background. I recommend leaving this at white because it blends well with the um, with the YouTube end screen elements themselves. Um, but of course you can change this to like, let's say you wanted like yellow or something. Um, it'll change these little cards and the background of these. So, you know, uh, of course, experiment around, try different things, upload them to your channel, fill out, fill out with your channel icon and some videos and see how it looks, come back here, make some changes and, do all that fun stuff. So I actually think that looks pretty dang, pretty dang sick. I don't know if you guys um, want to try this or not. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, this last one, which is channel icon background color, that is this. And the reason why I have it kind of gray right now is because that's the background color of my channel icon right now. My channel icon is like a gray with a ruler and a pencil or like almost a black, like this is almost black. And by making it this color, it blends my channel icon in there really well. If your channel um, icon has like a lighter background, like let's say your channel icon had a white background, 
you're going to want to change this to white so that it blends well with your channel icon. Uh, alternatively, if you had like a solid red background to your channel icon, you can do that. And it's okay if it's not like uh, your channel icons all one color. Of course, uh, just trying to pick the thing that will blend it most. So since the background of my channel icon is gray, I'll just uh, leave it that way. All right, so that brings us to the final thing, which is if you want to change the song for your outro. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is import a new file, and that will bring up an import menu, which you can then uh, choose a different song. So I'm gonna choose uh, this song right here, uh, which is I think from Monster Cat. Uh, the full name should be this right here, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and download it. And the first thing you wanna do is locate the imported song um, it, MP3, WAV, whatever f format it is, it should work fine. Click this guy, which is the existing music that's in there, and you want to make sure that this is selected and this is selected. Then you want to grab this guy and drag him and hold, uh, press and hold the ALT key and hold him over while you're pressing the ALT key and then let go. That will replace the music, and to bring up the waveform again, we're going to press L twice, so LL. And that will bring up the waveform. Press Y, and that will bring up this kind of scrubber. And then you can kind of just move the song to where the drop happens. So the drop happens right about... Right about there. There it is. Coming up slowly. So... Right here. And you want to position the drop right where this marker is right here. So where it says position song start drop here, you want to make sure that you have your Y tool, which is the pan behind anchor tool. And you just want to line it up perfectly. Right there. There you go. Let's play it back using the decimal key. All right, sweet. And now all you have to do is clear the markers for the old song. So I'll just right click one of them and go to delete all markers. And then now it's just the process of going through and finding each beat and marking them. So I know there's a beat at the drop, so that's one right there. And then let's listen to it. There's like two right here. So I wanna just really dial in on them. So I can still hear both of them, so that means they're both ahead of the playhead. So I'm going to move it forward a little bit. Alright, so the first one's right where I started it, so I'm going to place one there. And then it looks like there's another peak in the waveform right here. I'm going to zoom in by holding Alt and scrolling in. And it looks like, I can, I can even just see it. There's one, there's another beat right there. So I'm going to play back using the decimal key just to make sure. Alright, so I could only hear one, and it was right when it started, so I'm going to drop another marker right there, and um, just go through the rest of it. It's a little bit long, but it is so much easier than going through and changing keyframes and syncing yourself. Like, all you have to do is place down markers, and then um, the, the the little rings behind the, behind the um, objects in your videos and your channel icon, they'll animate um, in sync, and then these guys will bump to the beat, and then... This guy bumps a little bit as well, and the particles kind of speed up and slow down to the beat. So it does take a little while to resync it, but uh, once you do it, it'll look awesome and it'll just be totally in line with the new song. And you know, you get a little flair of personalization. And the last thing you want to do when you change the song is move these guys. So you may be asking, I've already marked the beat here. What the heck are these guys? Well, these guys. Um, tell the the bursts when to start so this one right here is the name burst so if i move this guy like back a little bit it'll start the name burst a little bit earlier and um you can get rid of these guys so i'm just going to delete all these and um you want to line them up with the beat so say i want the the subscribe thing to burst when i uh when this first beat hits so i'm going to go ahead and drop a marker by pressing the asterisk key on my keyboard and then I'm going to double click it. In the comment section of this marker, all you want to do is do hashtag um, subscribe with no spaces. And once you do that, it'll tell the template 
to burst the subscribe thing on that beat. So there you go. And it'll it'll burst and use the accent color and all that. Um, if you want to change it to the, to the videos bursting, you can uh, double click and change the comment section instead of hashtag subscribe, you can uh, change it to hashtag videos. And uh, make sure you capitalize subscribe and videos. It has to be word for word exactly that. And that's a little bit misaligned. I'm going to fix that before I put up the download. But um, yeah, that's pretty much that. It uh, lines up well and you can sync it. And the last thing is, of course, hashtag name. And once you put that in, it will do the name burst. So yeah, just go through and mark all the beats for the rest of the outro, and then the fade's already there. Um, that's why I replaced this instead of just deleting deleting this layer and moving the new song in. Um, basically, so it would keep the fade in and fade out keyframes. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, once you're ready to render, all you have to do is click over here to the render queue. If you don't see that, make sure you go up to window and where it says render queue and make sure you click that and it'll bring you to the render queue tab and basically from here i've already set up the render preset perfectly and all you have to do is go over here and click um this right here and they'll open up a box and you'll be able to choose where you want to save it to and you can of course change the name to whatever you want and that'll be your output and then all you have to do is go over here and click render you're good to go you can save the project if you want to come back to it later and um, that's pretty much that. You'll have your video and you can place it in your video editor and just make it at the very end of your video and you're good. And it'll be 20 seconds, the perfect length for the YouTube out screen or end screen or whatever they want to call it. And that's, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'm sure myself or one of the other commenters will be happy to help you. And if you enjoyed this, um, go ahead and like the video. Uh, for those of uh, the people who don't have After Effects, I'm sure they would appreciate it if you helped get this video to a thousand likes. And um, that'll that's one I'll be putting up in my store so the people without After Effects can, of course, go ahead and get this template as well. So if you enjoyed this, like. And if you're interested in some of my future projects or free templates, you can go ahead and subscribe. And that will... Let you know when I post a new video so you can always stay in the loop and never miss another upload from me, possibly a template, possibly a regular design, who knows. I do other designs for people on a person-by-person -person basis, so there's that. And of course, my web store has all sorts of cool intros, outros, banners, profile pictures that you can purchase and will be delivered within half an hour of your order. So that's my spiel, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and enjoy your new outro, and I will see you on Wednesday with Speed Art. All right, guys. See you later. Peace.